Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about enchiladas. Andrea Skelton of St. Louis, Missouri has asked me to do a completely different type of an enchilada recipe, something, something that would surprise her. I have to tell you, Andrea is also one of my granddaughters. So Andrea, if you're ready for this, we're going to be doing a breakfast enchilada Alfredo. Totally off the wall. I think it's going to be good though. Okay, we're going to start our pan up here. But the only thing this is going to have in common with an enchilada is actually the tortillas. Everything else, I've never seen or heard of anything like this before, but I was thinking about it the other day and thought, man, this sounds really good. I'm going to try it. So here we go. All right, got the pan on. We're just going to melt some butter here. A lot of butter, of course. I'm calling it a breakfast enchilada only because I'm using eggs, but I'm sure you could serve this as a main meal. I don't know why not. I would. Andrew, you wanted something off the wall. You're going to get this one, let me tell you. I think you're really going to enjoy it though. I didn't want to use this big of a pan, but I just made up another batch that I've got in the oven right now. It's like I'm it out. That pan was dirty, and I'm not going to wash that one until I do it in the dishwasher. So I'm using a bigger one. Got the lighting a little bit different this time. I don't know. I saw reflections coming off of this window over here, so I've got the blinds pulled on that. But I see now the problem is this overhead light right here. If I turn that off, I'm afraid it's going to get too dark. Now, let me know what you think. All right. To the butter. I'm going to add... Some fresh mushrooms, uh, some fresh onion that I just pulled out of my garden this morning, and also four different, actually three different colors of bell pepper that I just pulled out of my garden this morning. I'm going to saute these up, and I've also got some avocado here that I'm going to hold off for right now. I'm going to put those in after I put in the eggs. Alright, we're just going to saute this up. A little more butter. Always good to have good, a lot of butter. Like I say, this pan is way bigger than what I need for this particular thing, but I'm afraid a smaller one would have been too small. So we'll just make do with what we got. smell of these onions and fresh bell peppers. Woo, good stuff. Got some in the oven right now. Like I said, this is this is the first for me, so we'll see how it comes out. Oh, that stuff smells so good. What I've got is a baking dish that I, I put uh, some creamy Alfredo sauce, spread it on the bottom. After I sprayed the pan, there's a pan with pan. We've got Alfredo sauce on the bottom. Hopefully that won't bake up and get all hard on us. I don't think it will. I'm only doing these at 325 in the oven. Again, that's a guess, so we'll have to see how it comes out. Probably, I might have, should have gone 350, but I just didn't want to burn it, so we'll see. It's been in there for a little over 15 minutes right now. We'll see what happens. Alrighty. Stuff sauteing up pretty good here. A lot of smells. It's so good. I love the smell of fresh, fresh vegetables, fresh food, anything. Yeah, I like to eat. Fortunately, so far I've had the metabolism to be able to keep the weight off because I eat like a pig. I'm probably as sloppy as one, too. Alright, 
to saute it up pretty good. We're going to put some eggs in here. Okay, well, I'm going to do three eggs with this one. One I've got here. The oven right now has got five eggs in it. Mix them up with I like my eggs loose anyway. I'm not, plus they're going to be cooking in the oven. So I'm not going to have these done real well. Now that I've got those in there, I'm going to add the avocado. sliding out of the sides. Yeah, hopefully you can see this here. Roll it up from the bottom and then go in from the sides. Keep rolling from the bottom so it's not going to flop out on you. I'm going to place this. We had one made up from the last batch. And we're just going to keep doing that. Fill this up. Fill these up as much as you want. Well, this is going to be good. I hope it. I hope the Alfredo sauce is going to taste good in it. Hopefully, you can see the way I'm wrapping these. I'm just lay them in the bowl there. One more. Actually, worked out really good. Just right, actually. Oh, this stuff is smelling so good. Alright, fold it up from the bottom, come in from the sides. Keep going from the bottom, keep it from leaking out of there. Yeah, force that one in there. Now, once we've done that, we're going to put some more Alfredo sauce on the top. Mm, love Alfredo sauce. I don't know, Andrea, what do you think? What are you thinking so far? I would imagine you would have to like Alfredo sauce to like this dish. And to top it off, we're going to put some cheese right on top of that. I lost the whole thing now. Just going to sprinkle some cheese on the top. And it doesn't give you 
an idea of what she looks like before going in. Hopefully you're going to be I'll leave it up there long enough so that light will fade, you can see it. And, am I ready to try the other one? Alright, here we go folks. Cross your fingers. I probably could have stayed in there for longer. In fact, it probably should stay in there for longer. I'll let the light change those so you can see those. Like I said, that was a 225. So you probably could have gone 350 actually. So I'm thinking maybe maybe 350 for 30 minutes maybe. Put a couple of these on a plate here. Actually, I don't know. Those are looking pretty good. Tortillas are looking pretty good. Ah, 325 might work. What do you think, Andrea? Think that's going to work? Put these in. Alrighty. Andrea, I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully that'll work for you. Folks, I still need some more recipe ideas. Keep sending them in. Message me on Facebook or send an email, do something. Or when you comment on this video, you know, let me know what you want to see. I'm up for trying anything, because this pretty much a test to. So now, Andrew, you can tell your friends and family, laissez les bon temps brûler, let the good times roll. So until next time, I'm getting ready to eat my breakfast enchilada Alfredo, and that's what I'm talking about.